twist yellow stuff. Yeah, so we, we are pole twisters, are we? We created it. Yeah. We, uh, we're here still. Still going. Can you believe it? This is our lovely studio. It started in 2007, but we were first called Welsh Mobile Pole because we couldn't think of a name, could we? No. Um, we created this really odd looking dragon with, um, well, with a long face, like a crocodile <laughs> on a pole. But that's how it started. Did and then you draw it? Did you draw it? Know a friend from work, from my other job. Oh my God, I hope she didn't watch it. The he, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> How do I pole dance without being in a lap dancing club? How do I do that? And you know, I just got a download and I was like, oh my god, let's teach it, you know? And she was like, no, she's working in ad trader. I was just never happy. I was always, 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 looking, looking, for always looking for the next thing. Grass is greener. Mm -hmm. kind of, just mm -hmm. wanted to like channel my goddess sexy energy into something which didn't like, which wanted to you know, or I could kind of get away with it. So I was just, I don't know, I, something came to me and I was really? like, yeah. yeah, I want to I wanna pole dance, but I don't want to work in a lap dancing club. So I was like, well, how do I do that? You know, how do we do that? So I, had, I was having this little thing or I don't know, something came to me. And then and then that's when later I was like searching the web and I thought, and I, and I found that comp pole competition. Yeah. Okay. And then I took it for a birthday and um, we loved it. We, loved we it. were just we hooked. We can, we can do that. We can do that. This and I mean, easy. it wasn't even that hard back then, you know? The hardest move they were doing was like maybe like Scorpio, you know, and the one where you drop down, you know, yeah. from the top to the bottom and the stop and her head's right by there. And we were like, yeah, we got this. Mm -hmm. You know, not like that now, is it? You know, look at all this. What was I like six weeks in? Oh my god, she was amazing. <laughs> she was like, I just picked it up like a yeah, duck, duck in. Duck she was better than me, and I was like, ah, my idea. <laughs> yeah, so we started. So, yeah, in a little pokey room in Incognitos, which was opposite the museum in Cardiff. Um, it's now an art gallery, but we love that place. We used to have just two poles. Yeah. Really, really tall holes. Very tall, very thick, very hard to grip. Yeah, about 50, 50 mil, 50 mil yeah, yeah, possibly 51. Up. So you can imagine how difficult that was to hold. Yeah, um, we were there for quite a few years and then we moved on to Fashion. We had two rooms actually, so we used Fashion and uh, at the same time, in we yeah. yeah. We needed that full time, but they couldn't or wouldn't give it to us. So we really need to expand because we took on a lot of students, you know, a lot of followers. Start getting really busy at that point, yeah. And um, which is when we decided to um, look into getting a bigger, bigger venue for ourselves. But there weren't any. No, no, it was really hard. Was, you know, the ceilings were wrong. The no parking rent was completely over the top. Yeah. Um, so it just took it. It was a, a long time, but then I come up with the idea of uh, an industrial unit. So we had a chat to some um, estate agents, and one of them was quite interested. And um, yeah, we changed the license over and um, we were looking first of all at next door, but it was a little bit too big, unfortunately. A bit too dear. Yeah, too dear. So we ended up taking the whole of this building upstairs and down and we run for a long time. Now we've got tons, yeah. and tons of teachers for our, working for us and they're amazing. Teaching and lots of different forms of exercise. Yeah, which um, are pole. Um, stretchy, flexy, yoga kind of things. Um, uh, burlesque, a straight in. Yeah, roller disco. Yeah. Um, parties as well. Yeah. Um, they can hire the room. What else? Oh, we've got tons and tons of students now, loads of followers, so we really thank you all. Mm -hmm. Oh, halfway through um, running Pole Twisters, we decided to venture on more of the staggered hen side of things. So we started teaching just the hen parties here, pole dancing, uh, burlesque, and um, then dance parties. Can can. Yeah, the other egg, uh, grease, pink ladies, and that that all started at first. And then we were like, oh, what can we do for the guys? So um, we, we started to to run a hen and stag party entertainment agency, and employ lots and lots of uh, freelance entertainers to um, to take on the stag and, and hen jobs. Um, all across the country, all across the UK, and um, even abroad sometimes. Yeah, and then this is where we, we came up with the idea that our entertainers would be great in a book. <laughs> 
So yeah, we yeah. Give, we, we um, had That's some interviews story. and they've given us some of their funny, funny and bad stories. Funniest and worst moments um, that they've experienced at, at some of these jobs. Um, a bit about our company and um, hints and tips on becoming an entertainer. The book is called So You Want a Strip? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to give you a little bit of a heads up what's been going on with us over the last 16 years. Um, you're the brains. Am I? Yeah, you're the brains behind it. And I'm the brawn. Jesus. It's a wrap. It's a wrap crap. Okay.